Debbie with the Crafty Diamond. Today's video is my weekly whip and chat. And if you are not familiar, what a whip and chat is, is a work in progress or a whip where I will be working on a diamond painting and I will also be chatting with you for a little bit. And if you would like to work on something, go ahead and grab your whip and let's get started. Or if you want, you can just listen to this or you can even clean house. Whatever that you would like to do is totally up to you. But I will be working on Cauldron of Myrrh. This is from Diamond Art Club. And I will also be using these containers and this came from Amazon. And I really like these, although they are a little bit smaller for this kit. I would have preferred to use my Elizabeth Ward, but right now they are all in use. So I need to finish something so I can have those available next time for a larger canvas. So that's what I'm using for my drills. I'm also using a pen and this is from Lazy River Woodworking and I don't think that they are open right now, but hopefully they will be soon. I'm using this for a seven placer here. And then I'm also using, I'm using this pen, this came from BFF and I'll put a link on that as well. And this one, um, it's not really Halloween-ish, um, which is what my kit is, but I like it because it says, do not cross. So um, it is um, a pen that I, I got as a mystery, but it was done um, with another group that I was in. And so I thought that was really cute that it says, you know, do not cross the security um, tape for the police. I do like this metal um, tip here. And then I'll be using this as a four placer. That doesn't want to, there it goes, focusing a little bit. I also have my very large Muni Made tray. And I love this one, has a stopper. Also has my name on it and two little diamonds on each side. I'm using for my single placer, I am using glue dots. And I will have a link to um, my Amazon link for that. And then for my multi-placers, I am using from Enablers Outpost. This is candy corn and it is putty. It is called Chit. And that's what this looks like. And it's Chit, C-H-I-T, you can see that there. And, and that is putty in Romanian. So I don't know if they are selling that right now. They may be out, but I really do like it. It does last a very long time. I haven't tried it in a single placer yet um, because I'm just using my tried and true glue dots. I do have a new light pad that I really like. This is rather large and I like it because the cord is on here. I don't have to worry about finding my cord and the on and off button is actually on the cord here, but it's away from my hand. I was always, um, hitting it and turning it off. Um, the one that I had was rather small, so I have it downstairs in our family room, and this one is up in my craft room where I do like to do my larger canvases. Um, I have a drink, I have my watch so I can tell the time, I have my notes. I think that we're now ready to go. So how is everybody doing? That's the first thing that I want to ask. That's really important. I um, always am concerned about um, you guys. Hope that everyone is well. I know there's some a lot of sickness going around um, in our area of the country, especially when it comes to schools. My daughter's class, a lot of the kids have been out. A lot of the bus drivers are out. Um, they are so shorthanded on bus drivers anyway that they are having to double up. So she is getting home later than normal because um, of the bus route. Go ahead and get started here. And she's not real crazy about that. We're like 10 minutes away from her school, but yet it takes her almost an hour to get home. But she is on a special needs bus and so it takes um, longer because they only have certain ones that can drive a special needs bus, which I don't know if they have to have additional training because the kids are special needs or what. It is a smaller bus. It's more like um, a little minivan 
than it is the um, the actual you know, large school bus. But um, I could pick her up, but I want her to have, um, to be able to have that self-sufficiency where she can get on and off the bus at school. Although the teachers make sure that everybody gets on the right bus, but um, she is very you know careful about that. And also if I am not available, to pick her up, then that would be a problem. So it's just as easy for me to go ahead and just have her on the bus, even though it takes her a little bit longer. So anyway, um, that has been going on here. She has actually had to miss a couple of days of school. She has really bad allergies. And there is something in this school that just um, really messes up her allergies causes her to have a really bad sinus infection. I don't know why these are not straight like they should be. Um, to have a sinus infection. And so um, she's on medication daily, um, but it just hit her, it hits her anyway, right um, at the beginning of fall. And so she's missed um, two days of school. She could have gone to school today. And then also she's going today for me is Thursday. And she could have also gone to school tomorrow, which we'll see this video on Friday. But Friday, they're just going to the park um, because they have all for fall break next week. And they're just doing fun things on Friday. And because of her allergies, I did not want her to go to the park. So I just gotten her permission to stay home and she's going to do some um, work here. And so that way they will consider her not absent. And then also next week, Monday, um, we have the dreaded wisdom teeth um, removal um, for her. And so that's going to put a strain on me as well as her. You know, I hate that she has to go through it. I hate that she's going to be in pain, but she doesn't do very well with pain. And um, she always wants me when she's really sick. So I will be probably, you know, sitting around, laying around with her all next week. I am working from home and doing what I can with my job. But my, my boss really understands. So I'm really grateful for that. So next week, I already have videos lined up just in case that it's gotten to where I just cannot um, break away from her and do any videos. So I do have um, three to four for next week that I'm working on. And then hopefully um, I will, and I'll still check messages and I'll be around. Um, so be looking for me on Instagram as well as some new videos coming up. And so um, that will be, at least that'll be taken care of through at least Wednesday. So I've got um, videos going up for Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday of next week. So you're not going to miss out. You won't even know that, you know, I haven't done anything. Hopefully I'll be able to sit around and diamond paint um, while she is resting next week. That's my plan. Um, but of course, plans don't always go as we want. And um, if you have a special needs child or you know someone that um, does or, you know, has one, um, then you would know sometimes it's a struggle on how things are going to go, um, what you have to change. I've already spoken to the oral surgeon, so um, he understands, you know, how she is. So hopefully we're not going to have any issues on Monday. But I also have to drive an hour Monday to get to the oral surgeon's office. And so that's going to be nerve wracking in Atlanta traffic. So I'm definitely not looking forward to that. So I'll be probably very anxious until I get home on Monday. So be thinking about me during that time. If you don't mind, I would really appreciate it. So that's really what I've been focusing on all week is preparing for her surgery preparing also, you know, for her to feel better, hopefully. And so I've also spoken to the surgeon about that because she's on antibiotics and she's been on steroids. And so they said that was fine. It's not going to affect anything, but I wanted to make sure before I went all the way down there 
and found out, and then she, you know she's nervous about it. And I haven't told her a whole lot because if I do, then it'll make her even more nervous and her anxiety will kick in. So sometimes you have to decide what to say and what to just wait on. So anyway, um, that's what's going on here. Our weather, I mentioned on my last whip and chat last Friday that we had a little touch of fall. And I think Mother Nature is just trying to pull a fast one on us. We had really nice days last week, two or three days. It was, you know, fall-like weather. It was just really nice. We didn't have any humidity. And then it went back up in the 90s, and the humidity was horrible. And that's why everybody's getting sick. I mean, there's no doubt why everybody's getting sick. is because of this horrible, horrible humidity. So, we... Um, we're, you know, anticipating that, and then now here it is Thursday, and they are saying that we have a cold front coming in tonight, and it is supposed to be in the 40s when we wake up in the morning, and it's supposed to get high of 65 on Friday, and I think high of maybe 70, 72 on Saturday, and then Sunday we're supposed to get some storms. So, we'll see, um, but I was hoping I could work out in the yard last weekend, and it was just too hot, and so we just couldn't do it. So, if it's cooled off on Saturday, and if it's not raining, then we want to get out and at least um, work on our flower beds. We have a huge flower bed. It's like an island in our front yard. Um, whenever we moved here, it was like that, and so we decided last year that we wanted to do something, but we just didn't know what we wanted to do. And we were still busy moving in and deciding how we wanted to do our house, and we didn't do it last fall. So now we've kind of figured out what we want to do, and we're going to be doing that this year. But I just cannot get out there in the heat. I just can't do it anymore. I'm on some medication that really overheats me, makes me even worse. And then it, I just start feeling really bad. And so it is just not worth it for me to get out in the heat. And so my husband um, has gotten to where he doesn't like the heat as much either. And he used to love being outside. You know, the hotter the better. He worked outside for years and years and it didn't bother him. But he has been inside in uh, my office, a warehouse, um, same company and just doing the same thing basically, but getting to work inside instead of outside with all the elements. And um, now he's gotten so used to that, that he has a hard time being outside for a long time as well. So we're just kind of waiting until the weather cools down and then we can go outside and do some yard work. We may end up just paying somebody. We hate to do that when we can do it ourselves. And anytime we call a contractor, they want like five times more than what the job is really worth. And we have found that out several times, especially on our deck that we want to have um, renovated. And it's just, the mounts are just absolutely crazy ridiculous. So we um, really don't want to even find out how much it would cost for what we want to do because it's going to be more than what we want to pay you know, kind of thing. So, anyway, that's something that is upcoming that we may work on. I'd rather just be in my craft room diamond painting. My best friend, Cindy, may come over on Saturday to bring her cards for soldiers. And I have a box I need to mail off. And so she has some cards that she's going to add to my box. And so she may come over on Sunday. Let me hang out for a little bit. Maybe do lunch or something and then go from there. And not much has really happened this week. Um, just been busy doing things around the house, preparing for her to have her oral surgery and um, working as much as I can. I'm getting everything ahead of schedule so I don't have to worry about that. I can just do um, current work and not have to worry about um, anything additional 
that I need to do for my students. So all my lesson plans, everything is in for the week next week. I will have to go on campus, but that's not until Friday. So hopefully she'll be okay then. If not, her sister will come in and sit with her. So that's always helpful as well that I have an older daughter. And I do have several new subscribers lately, and I do appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. And for those of you that do not know me or you're not really familiar, I am a college professor. I teach at a local community college. I was teaching for a four-year school online, and I um, ended up um, a year ago, I went ahead and went full-time with a school that is local that I have been working part-time for for a number of years. And so I like that so much better than the university I was working for because there was so much research. If you are, if you have a terminal degree, in other words, if you are a doctorate doctor, then you are required to do a lot of research. You have to have um, publications. And so I just really didn't want to do all of that. And I've been doing it, it's you know, a lot of work. It's a lot of work in addition to teaching, in addition to doing developing of courses. So I decided just to go with my part-time job and work there full-time. And it is less money, but it is so much better. It's less stress. I'm with the family more. And, you know, when you're younger, money, you know, is a lot. Um, you, or I know I did, we, my husband and I both did, you know, we wanted to make sure that we were financially sound. And so now that we are, because we are older and we're getting to where we're thinking about retirement in the next 10 years or so. It's like, we don't want to work as much as we did when we were younger. And I don't know if people that are our age are like that, but I don't want to work 60, 70 plus hours a week anymore. I am just kind of over that. And I have been so much happier. My stress and anxiety has been so much lower this year than it has in a long time, really the past two years, because the fact that I'm working less and I get to diamond paint more, which makes me really happy. When I was working so much, I was doing good diamond paint, maybe on the weekends for, you know, a few hours. And so now I get to diamond paint almost every single day. And so that makes me really happy. Of course, I have quite a few going on right now. Um, I'm trying to get to where I am only working on two but we'll see if that ever works out for me. And before I forget, I do have a Facebook group that I've created um, about two or three weeks ago, I guess, maybe three. And um, there are about 25 on there now, 24, 25 or so. And we are posting what uh, everyone is working on, completions. And so we would love to have you join us. I know a lot of people are not Facebook folks. Um, I really don't get on Facebook very much except for my group. And at my, I originally said, and I've got it underneath um, the requirements of my group is that we can't um, post links to other content creators or links to shops or anything like that. And I've been thinking about that and I'm going to change that requirement because I want to get to know all of you better. And so one way to do that is just to have you post links um, to your Instagram. And also, you know, if you want to, of course that's not a requirement either, um, and then if you are a content creator, post links to your channel. And that way we can get to know you. We meaning others, it's on our channel, including me. And then also if you have a small shop 
and you would like to put that link on there, I would love for you to do that as well because I love to support small shops. I'm always looking for small shops, especially on cover minders. I haven't really bought a lot of cover minders, but now I'm really wanting to. So I'm starting to buy more cover minders and I need some good recommendation on some sites, whether it's on Etsy or you know wherever for small shops. So I think that would be a lot of fun as well. So I am going to change that. So you, and I'll put underneath on my Facebook, I will put um, a post and that's where you can put that information. Let's see, let's do a U. I will do that today and I will put underneath um, a post that you are welcome to do that. I'm gonna change the instructions on there, but I would love to see what everybody's working on. It's hard to do that on YouTube because it doesn't allow you to include any photos or anything under the description. And that's not me, that is YouTube doesn't like that. I didn't shovel that up very good. Let's try this again. I really like this tray. The only thing with this, and I didn't really think about it when I pulled this out, because this is one of my favorite trays to use. This kit is darker colors. And because of that, and I'm using a purple tray, it's hard to see some of these drills. It's hard to tell if the drills have any trash in it. And sometimes I'm not able to see it until I put them down on my canvas. And then I have to pull this up. And this one is not, for some reason, it doesn't like number one and four on here. I'm having to do it more. Maybe I need to work on my putty. Okay, I'm not sure what that's doing. I mean, I have my putty aligned good. I really do like this putty. I don't know if I said the, um, the scent. This one is candy corn, and it doesn't really smell like candy corn, but I haven't had candy corn in forever in a day, so maybe it does. Maybe I just don't remember what candy corn smells like. My daughter does not like candy. I mean, she'll eat M&Ms every now and then, but she's just not a candy eater. Either one of my kids, they're just not, they never have really liked a lot of candy. But I'll tell you, my youngest, who is 21, it sounds like when I say youngest, she's a baby, but she is 21 and she absolutely loves candy corn. And I bought her some last year and I mean, she ate a lot of it. And I told her, you're gonna get a stomach ache if you're not careful. And she was having a fit. She wanted me to taste of it. And I told her, I said, I just, I just don't want it. I think it's just too sweet. I just don't like candy corn, but I don't, I didn't get up close enough, I guess, to smell it, or I just didn't, I don't remember, but I don't remember it smelling like this. This does smell very sweet, but to me, this smells like, I don't wanna say coconuts, but almost like um, sunscreen, kinda. It smells good. Um, I have different scents, but I just, I don't know. If you have bought the candy corn, with Enables Outpost. Um, let me know what you think it smells like. I'm just really curious. Maybe I'm just, I don't know, but it's kind of weird. Anyway, but I do have it open, I do like it, so, and it's really good. It lasts, it does last a very long time. And I probably should change out this tray because even under this light, it's really hard for me to see if I even have all the drills back in my container. So it's taking a little bit longer. It's probably kind of sticky too. I must have gotten something on there. There we go, okay. I have plenty, this is almost empty, if you can see that, but I have plenty that I need to add to it. They wouldn't all fit in there. Um, and the ones that the canvases I'm working on now, they're all dark colors. So I'm, I'll be looking forward to doing a very light color on my next one. Although I really want to do, I think it's called, I forgot which one it was. It's the, 
the witch that I had unboxed on my channel I um, from Craftably. And it is going to use special, the special drills, a lot of rhinestones. I want to do that one next once I finish this one. And that's another fairly large one. But I'm doing this one for uh, drills and chills and then also um, for Festival of Witches. And that goes on until the end of October. So I should have this one finished by then. And this one has a lot of color blocking so far. I've gotten the whole top left done and I'm working on now the bottom of the canvas. So you will be able to see that whenever I do my um, monthly update, which will be in a week at the end of September, beginning of October, will be the end. I don't know why I poured all these drills in here. I'm thinking that because I've had such a large area on here and I poured a lot of drills out, that now I just keep doing it just out of habit. But the purples and the greens in here look really pretty together. I'm really liking that. So let's look for eight. I'm looking at this upside down, so it's kind of hard to see some of my colors. Are any of you working on any um, events? And do you have any events planned for like November and December that you're going to work on? I have not decided if I'm going to do or participate in any events for November and December. I may just want to do my own thing, see how much I can get done before the end of the year, which is really crazy to think about that. I'd like to get as much as possible done, especially ones I already have started, if that is possible. So I don't know, I'm not sure. I may do Advent, I done that, um, did it one year. I didn't do it last year because I don't know if I want to be committed to doing one section or one square every day. So I'll just have to wait and see what I'm going to do on that. Let's see, what else? Has anything else happened this week? There's some new fall shows that have come out and we really like Susan Sarandon. So we were really excited, my husband and I, when we saw previews of Monarch, but we watched it and I don't want to give anything away if you haven't seen it or if you plan on seeing it, but we were very disappointed because it doesn't look like Susan Sarandon is going to have much of a role that we had thought that she was going to. So I don't know if we're going to, to like that or not. And then the more I watched it, I'm like, this is like a soap opera, which I thought it was more going, I don't know, I thought it was going to be something different, I guess. But it just seemed to me, it was almost on the point of like between Dallas and Dynasty from years ago. And we like Yellowstone. And I thought, well, maybe it's going to be similar to Yellowstone. I like that, but it just, to me, I don't know. It just, it did not meet something for me. I don't know exactly what. And then we really like The Cleaning Lady. That one came back on, and it has a really weird name, The Cleaning Lady. So you wouldn't think much about it, but last year we were trying to find something to watch. And so we started watching This Cleaning Lady, and it's like action and um, it's like killings, um, <laughs> different things. Um, and it's just something that, you know, we don't, we like to watch adventure shows. We don't like to watch something that's, you know, really weepy or, you know, we don't, I don't really watch Hallmark that much. Every now and then I'll sit and I'll watch a Hallmark movie, but we just like more action, more drama. And so the cleaning lady I thought was really good. And then there was something else new that came on that was supposed to be really popular. I can't remember what it was, and we didn't really like it either. 
We don't watch TV that much, especially like in the summer. And then in the early fall, we really don't watch TV that much when it's nice enough to sit outside. You know, there's not really any mosquitoes. And we sit outside and, um, and when it gets dark, we have a candle lit and we'll just sit out and we just sit and talk. And sometimes we don't even talk, we just sit there. And so we, we just really like doing that. We'll get a drink and go sit outside. I'll have a glass of wine. My husband has his beer. And then we just are outside. When it starts to get too cold, he could sit out there and be nice and bundled up and he would be fine, but I just can't do it. And so he doesn't like being out there without me. And so that's when we really start to watch TV and things that we have recorded or we've missed. We um, will go ahead and we get caught up in the winter, especially like November, December, January. January is the worst here, more so than really December is. So we're looking to see what we can find to watch. Um, let's see, what else? I do have some questions, some tag questions that I have gotten um, from my girl, Kim, Kimba's Crafts. And so um, if you've been around, you've heard me talking about her. We have become diamond painting buddies. We um, will sit and message each other and she does not live anywhere close to me, unfortunately. It would be nice to be able to have someone that I could diamond paint with, but um, we, started our channels about the same time. And so if we have, you know, questions or comments or anything, um, we kind of bounce it off of each other. And so that's been a lot of fun. So she had these tags on her last whip and chat and she had gotten these tags from someone else that I am not familiar with, but the tags are really good. And so I thought I will share these with you and then, of course, if you want to use them, um, you can as well. And then I'm going to tag um, Diamond Paintings by Laura. And if she wants to use these tags, then she can use those as well and then, you know, move them on. And if any of you that are listening, if you're also content creators, then you can use those as well. I like these tag questions, and Laura also had some that I'm going to be using. Hers were fall related. I'm going to use that when we have more fall weather, so then I can really feel like I just made a big mess. Of course, I have to have I have to make a mess at least spill drills at least one time, and I did. That's my one time. Let's hopefully I won't do it again. Let me clean this up. Well, it's only about 10. That's not horribly bad, but I need every one of these. Okay. I'm about to spill more. No, I didn't. That's good. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm working in a small space today because I have other stuff on my table that I want to be able to video. And so my space is a little bit cramped more so than I normally, normally spread out. All right, so that's done. Okay, so let's look at these tag questions. Well, I look for another color. Okay. And this will also help you to get to know me and my diamond painting, what I like to do kind of thing. I think that will be really cool. Let me get a one here. Oh, and these are gorgeous. These are ABs. They are Aurora Borealis. If you're not familiar with that, they have a shinier coating and it just makes them stand out and to shine more. And then it also helps with the drills around them to actually um, shine more. These are so pretty. And this one came with the kit. I am gonna add some more of my own, but I have not done that yet. Okay, so the first question is, who is a new diamond painting artist that you discovered in 2022? So I do have a few from this year. I started diamond painting in late, 
2020. And I only completed two diamond paintings in 2020. Well, actually I completed four. There were three diamond paintings that I had gotten and they were not licensed. They were not the greatest diamond paintings, but I could tell that I was going to like diamond painting just by doing those. So in 2021, I found Josephine Wall. I absolutely love her. I have several paintings of hers. I also have um, paintings from Diamond Painting Deutschland that um, I want to work on. That's Josephine Wall. I also found Mandy Manzano last year, and I have several of hers. I love her work. And then Chuck Pinson. So those are my favorites from 2021. And then this year, um, I have found Margaret Morales. That was early part of this year. And I've purchased a couple of hers from Die Moon Shop. And I have completed one. I did complete one early part of the year. And then I have a couple of others that I want to complete. I have a couple that's on my wish list um, from her. And then also um, I discovered Puffy Gator. And that was going through Distracted by Diamonds. It looks like Diamond Art Club has picked up Puffy Gator. And so that's going to be really exciting too to see what Diamond Art Club is going to come up with. And who else? Sybil Arts. Sybil Arts is another one that I really like. We went to Japan back in the 90s. So it's been a long time. And I just fell in love with the Japanese culture. And so, and, and, and Oriental, just not Japanese, Oriental. And so I loved the shows we went to and they had um, the, the costumes and it was just, it was just glorious. I just really liked it. And so Civil Arts does a lot of that, a lot of the Oriental um, renderings. And so I found that this year and there's one that I really want to work on. I have it in my stash. I have it planned to work on for next year. So that's going to be really exciting. And then let's see. The second question is how many diamond painting events I participated in in 2022? So far, I have participated in seven if you count the two that I am in now. And it seems like I am missing one. I wrote them down, I kept looking, I looked at my diamond painting journal, and these are what I am showing as well. But I thought that I had done a couple more. But seven is quite a bit when you're only in September. So anyway, um, I had participated in the Josephine Wall. It was called the J Wall Along. And so that was with Laura with Anxiety um, Art Adventures. And so I completed a, or I didn't complete it. I, I did complete it, but not during the event. The event was two months. I had a huge painting. I was working on other paintings as well, but she didn't require that you complete it. I did get close and then I completed it about two weeks after the event ended. So that wasn't too bad. And then let's see, Mermaids and Magic. I completed that one. And so that was with Crafting with Shay. And also You Can Call Me Butter, Randy. And I did complete that one. That was a lot of fun as well. And then there was a JB Along 2. And that was with Crafting with Shay. And I also believe Emeralds and Fairy Lights, um, Lindsay. And I think that one's going to be done again next year. I'm pretty sure. And then let's see. Um, I completed Summer with the Masters. I didn't complete it. I participated and I got busy doing something else. And I did not um, get very far on that canvas but it is in my stash, the one that I had started on, and I'm going to work on that one as well to get it finished. And that was with Katie with Diamonds and Washi. And then I completed 
DP for pets, and that was with Diamond Painting Anonymous, and that's Daphne. And then also, I'm currently, as I mentioned, doing um, Drills and Chills with Katie, Diamonds and Washi, and then also with Emeralds and Fairy Lights Festival of Witches, and that is with Lindsay. And then there is one that I didn't put on here. So what if I get if I do the one in November, that will be eight. And Diamond Painting Anonymous is doing another one called DP for Vets. That's a V-E-T-S, is in Veterans. And so she is doing that in November. And I do have a small kit that would work for that one. And so I may participate in that one. So right now, seven with um, possibly one more eight. I don't believe I'm going to do anything for a Christmas event. I might, but that would not be current. So I'm just going to say seven for now. Okay, number three question, do you set aside a certain time to diamond paint? And no, um, I don't because my schedule um, often changes. I do try my best to diamond paint every day, and I've been able to diamond paint in the evenings. I have set up an easel that I'm able to sit in a recliner in our den, and I can watch TV with my family, and I can have my diamond painting on the canvas, and then I have a really small tray that I have next to me that I have everything that I need on it. So that's been nice, but no, I don't set aside a specific time. Number four, what is a website or small business that I discovered this year? This year would be Randa's Crafty Corner. I love her putty. I use that a lot. And so now it's gonna be a toss up between Abler's Outpost Putty and Randa's. I like both of them. And then also Enables Outpost. Um, I found them this year. And let's see, Butterfly Resin Drills. I love her trays. I use her trays a lot. They are really cool. At first, I wasn't sure because her trays, you can have a pitcher in it if you wanted to, or you can have um, like a butterfly or whatever that you want. And I wasn't sure if that would like distract me from the drills or really hard to see the drills and it's not at all. And I have ordered from her a Halloween tray. And so that should be in today. So I wanna have that and a couple of other things under a small shop haul in the next couple of weeks. And that's gonna be really cool. And let's see, also, Jaded Gem Shop, and she is fairly new. I think that she opened her shop this year. I have purchased a couple of diamond paintings from her, and I've also purchased some drills um, from her um, to do a project I'm gonna work on that um, does not come with drills or a canvas. So, I really like her shop as well. And then let's see, number five, what is the largest and the smallest diamond painting this year that um, I have done, um, that I've purchased and completed? As for purchased, I have several that are absolutely huge. And I'm not going to include those because I have not completed them, I've purchased. And I also have unboxed a couple, but not all of them. But completed would be um, Titania and Oberon. And I do have that one um, videos. And so I will put that underneath the description or the top of the eye. So you will be able to click on that link and you can see unboxing as well as my completion post. I also had um, several whipping chats that I did using that particular kit. That was 70 by 98 centimeters and it was 55 colors. The smallest I would say are my little paint gems, the little minis. 
and I have unboxed those on my channel as well. Those are like smaller than a four by six inch. You can um, put those in small frames if you want. And there's just several things that you can do with them. It's almost small enough you could even use as a card front if you like to make cards. I wouldn't want to spend that much time on the diamond painting and then someone just throw it away. But I do like those. And I actually had a challenge for myself for September to complete 30 of those by the end of the month. And I am on track to finishing those as long as I can get my few in for next week. And so that will be really good. And then I'll show you how I'm going to um, store those. So the next one is, do you have a DP that you'd like to start and complete this year? And I have so many in my stash. Every time that I open one and unbox it, I pretty much say, I wanna work on this one next. I can't wait to start on this one. Um, but I do have a really nice um, variety that's in my stash. And I really want to complete my diamond painting Deutschland. That is my project for 2022. And I really want to get that one done. To get it out of the way, to say it's done, to have it framed, and then be able to move on and to be able to complete another diamond painting of diamond painting Deutschland. So that's one that I really want to finish. And I'm on track to finish it. I plan on getting it done. I still have quite a bit to go. Um, I did show a update on that one. I don't know why this is sticking there too. I had an update on that one um, recently. And I haven't really done anything with that since. Um... There is another one that I want to start on and finish by the end of the year, and that is my Craftably Santa. I have not unboxed that on the channel yet, but that one's going to be really pretty. I have seen it finished, so I'm really excited about that one. And that will be my Christmas painting this year. I would like to get it done and then hang it, hang it up by our tree. So I want to start on that one, hopefully in November, so I have plenty of time to look for a frame once it's done. Um, let's see. Do I have a diamond painting that I have second thoughts of purchasing? And no, all the ones that I have purchased, I really do like. I did a de-stash a, a couple of months ago on my channel. And those weren't, I, I liked them, but I have so many that I wanted to sell those to someone that really wants to do them and that, you know, will enjoy doing it. And it, they, it was something that I'm glad I bought it, but it wasn't something that I love now. I loved it at the time, but I didn't regret buying any of those. The one thing, and it's not really a regret, I'm glad that I did it, was my diamond painting mystery box from Diamond Art Club. I am glad that I bought it, but I don't have a regret of doing it. But as for doing it again, probably not. Um, it, it, it would depend to if Diamond Art Club would give a hint and say, this is the theme because on the one that I purchased, it didn't give a theme and it didn't really say that it was going to be a theme. And box one really, I wouldn't say it was a theme, but box two was dark. And I did get my canvas in that um, was missing. Most of the ones from box two were missing their fan favorite. And that one was um, Furious Professor. And so um, that was Harry Potter. And that's not something that I would have purchased. I may trade that one for something. I don't know yet if I will or what I would even trade it for. I may keep it because I do have another Harry Potter that I may do and just put it 
over where we have um, our books or maybe even offer it to the library. It is a large one, so I need to find out how much it would cost to ship. But if anybody is interested in that one, let me know and we can work something out. So just in case, but you can email me, you can message me on Instagram, but just let me know. I'm not putting that one out there. The other ones that I decided to trade, I wanted two from the Diamond Mystery Box one. I really liked both of those, and I knew that they were going to sell out fast once um, Diamond Art Club put them on their website, and apparently they did, or one did anyway. And so that's why I did not offer to anyone on my channel was because I knew exactly what I was looking for. But on this one, um, let me know, and I will wait a little bit before I decide to do anything. Um, let's see, number eight, and there's 10 of these. Number eight, the new Diamond Painting channels that I discovered in 2022, and that would be um, Kimba's Crafts because she started her channel in February or March, I believe. I started mine the end of February. And I think that she started about the same time that I did. It's kind of how I met her. And then also Crafting with Shay. Um, I didn't really watch that many channels last year. And so another one was Diamond Painting Anonymous. I found her. And then Diamond Paintings by Laura. I found her this year. And then You Can Call Me Butter. I found her last year. I did not watch very many videos. I don't know. It just... The, the videos to me in YouTube, I just didn't watch them that much last year because I was so busy with moving and other things that was going on. I didn't get to diamond paint much in 2021 at all. So I really, even though I have been diamond painting and been purchasing for a while since um, the end of 2020, I really didn't, I wasn't able to do much because we were in the process of moving. We had moved twice in a year and two months. And my daughter graduated and just different things that went on. So I'm finding more and more channels that I really do like. And so if you have some good channels, um, let me know. I'd love to, to find out. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to allow to have links. Because I'd like to get to know some more instead of just having to hunt around on YouTube and see what I like. So I think that will be really fun as well. And um, let's see, the favorite diamond painting that I finished this year was the Language of Flowers 4 from Craftably. I thought that one turned out so pretty. It was an easy canvas to do. Now, if you ask me this question again at the end of the year, if I have finished Diana, and I plan on it, so it should be not if, but when, I finished Diana, she's, I'm sure that she's going to be at the top of my list. And she is a hundred by 98 is I think what the, um, the centimeters are, the dimensions on her. And I also probably will tell you that the Santa one is going to be another favorite. But I'm going to hang on to this question and I will, I may even hang on to all these tags, and then I will see how some of these answers change by the end of the year. That might be really cool. So what was your favorite diamond painting so far this year? Or do you anticipate you're going to have a favorite? So that'd be a good question to ask you. And let's see, the number 10 was what diamond paintings do I want to purchase by the end of the year? I've been looking at Oraloa, and there's a couple that I have under my wish list that I keep thinking, would I be sad if these were to go away? And there's one that I have seen and that I would really like to have. I'm kind of waiting because I, I want to... I don't really know why I'm waiting, honestly, um, but I'm kind of waiting on buying more diamond paintings because I'm running out of space 
and I have quite a few diamond paintings. I want to get some of those done before I bring in more, but I may look at that one again. And if I wait till next year, if it's still there, then I will definitely get it. If I see that it's going to be going away or if it's low stock, I may go ahead and get it now. But as for just absolutely having to have something, I really don't see anything yet that I absolutely have to have. There were a couple from Diamond Art Club that came out last week that I thought was really cool, but I didn't order anything. So I'm just kind of waiting to see. I also want to wait until the Black Friday deals because last year, if you weren't around, Diamond Art Club had about 50 or so that they brought out for Black Friday. And they had some really good sales. There were a lot of them that I wanted. And then there were some that were um, limited releases. So I'm kind of waiting on those to see what I'm going to like. I think I'm at a good stopping point here. I don't know, I didn't even look to see when we started, but I think we've been talking for a long time and I've got to stop going over. The past two weeks, I've been going over an hour, just a little bit, um, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Not a whole lot, but I like to stick with an hour. I don't wanna bore you guys too much. But be on the lookout for the upcoming videos. And if you would like to join the Facebook group, I will put that down at the bottom as well under my description. And we would love to have you. And especially I'd love to see what everyone is working on. Um, it is a very relaxed group, very comfortable group. Um, I, I, and right now I don't have um, a large group, but it's, it's nice. It's a nice group that we have. So we'd love to have um, you join as well. If you have not subscribed to my channel, um, please consider doing so. I think you would like it here. My channel is growing and I have some plans that I want to um, do next year for the channel. And hopefully um, they will work out. Also, before you leave, if you would click on that like button, I would really appreciate it. I hope that everyone has a great weekend and a good start to your week next week. And until next time, keep on crafting. Bye.